Now, one week after Alice Gross went missing, efforts to find the West London schoolgirl are being stepped up this morning. Raya El Salahi has more on this. I mean, what do we know about the day she actually disappeared? Well, the 14-year-old left her home in Hanwell last Thursday, as you say, a week ago today. It was around lunchtime at one o'clock, and she told her parents at the time that she'd be back later that evening. Uh, she was dressed in dark blue jeans, a dark green lacy cardigan. She was wearing uh, denim blue Vans trainers and a dark rucksack. Uh, CCTV footage shows her uh, walking along a towpath at Brentford Lock towards the River Thames, and then at around quarter to four, uh, walking in a different direction back to her home. That's the Grand Union Canal towpath. Through was walking along near Kew and in both instances she was alone. Now as you know Alice didn't return home. Her family haven't seen or heard from her since and police are especially worried about concerns of her health. Um, going forward um, during a, an emotional appeal last week Alice's parents described her as a talented and smart girl. And they've also put an appeal on, on the Facebook page. They right? have, yeah. They've taken that appeal online, uh, spreading the word about her disappearance in the hope that it might jog some people's memories. Uh, they've set up a hashtag, Find Alice, on Twitter. That's been retweeted thousands of times. There's also a Facebook group, which her sister Nina set up. Um, that now has almost 9,500 members. And actually writing on that page, Alice's dad, Jose Gross, praised the response the family has received, saying the support and effort from everyone continues to amaze us. It's made such a difference. I don't know how we would have coped without you all. I spend all day looking at Facebook and Twitter, watching a continuous stream of notifications appear. It keeps my mind occupied and from delving into dark thoughts. And the efforts have been stepped up, say the police, but what does that actually mean? Well, Alice's last known steps were filmed by CCTV cameras, which until now only the police had access to. However, they've now confirmed that footage will be released in just over an hour's time uh, in the hope that that might jog someone's memory by seeing her last known steps. And the investigation continues to be treated as a missing persons inquiry. Uh, but due to the high-risk nature of Alice being a vulnerable young girl who's been missing for a week, Scotland Yard's homicide and, and uh, major crime squad have now taken over that investigation. They've stressed, however, they're confident she still will return home safe and well and say that anyone who might have seen her or know a bit about her whereabouts should uh, get in touch by calling the police on 101. Right, thank you very much. OK, let's get a check on the...